so hey guys Chauso here and yeah uh, I was lucky enough to get a new Sanji treasure map rare recruit and he only attaches to Komarasaki but he's a 2.75 times chain locker so at least for me that will see a lot of use chain lock supports are among the best there is and especially legend Komarasaki has a pretty insane special as it is and add a chain lock to that and it's just ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, uh, to show it off I'm doing my take on a 2 double Komarasaki captain team. Uh, I'm not the first one to do it, maybe the first one to record it, but yeah I did my own take on it, which is only possible due to having the new Sanji support. Uh, it's not a good team though, it's more like a challenge team. This stage in particular is what's so annoying because we rely heavily on Legend Capone to stall out the debuffs on stage 4. So that means we need to have a pretty good HP on stage 4. So yeah, that means we have to stall here a lot to get rid of the end of turn damage and then heal back all the damage we take, which we do thanks to Kumarasaki giving healing when you hit perfect so with two Komarasaki we heal at least 5k every turn so that's nice so eventually we get to a good enough HP but yeah this treasure map like if you got Sanji or the Frankie like Komarasaki will be a lot more useful going forward that's two amazing supports the good thing with Frankie too is that he can also be put on Usopp, so yeah, I want to remind this to you that removing damage rest a little bit perfect is super rare support. At the moment, there are only three supports in the game that do it. It's the uh, Beppo support for Law, that's a normal rare recruit Beppo. It's this treasure map rare recruit Sanji that you can only put on Komarasaki and Usopp. And it's uh, one of the treasure map Blackbeard boosters, I think it's Doc Q. And yeah, you can only put him on Blackbeard, so it's on there's only 4 units in the game that can remove damage result with perfect right now on JP. So yeah, super valuable. Like how highly you value such a skill is uh, up to you, but I use them a lot at least. It's a very nice option to have since it can be used across multiple stages to remove damage result. But yeah, otherwise I managed to talk about something else why I slowly chipped down the HP. But yeah, as you see, Capone is ready for next stage, so we are moving ready to move on finally. So yeah, this is a pretty fun way to deal with stage four because there's a lot of annoying debuffs here. It's I think it's I think it's fair to say it's impossible to like backward is the closest to dealing with everything in one special. But Here's another way to deal with absolutely everything, it's to use Capone and stall 3 turns and everything goes away. You just have to have high enough HP to survive, uh, to, for the big father to survive 3 hits. Which it barely will since we managed to heal up to full HP before going to this stage. This also means that the uh, uh, tap limit debuff is removed so you can attack with every unit. So yeah, this will let us barely take out Robin, because you have to remember that Kur Kurmasaki isn't the best highest m attack multiplier. Uh, we're using Koi, and that's very nice for this stage, since we get an extra chain boost, and that chain boost is just essential, really, to barely get this kill. But yeah, moving on to final stage, and yeah... I actually died here a few times, it annoyed me so much, like suddenly I couldn't hit perfect anymore. I have no idea what was going on to be honest. But yeah, we used Comma for, uh, Pudding first, she copied uh, the ore boost last stage, so we can use the ore boost without it getting removed, and we also removed the block orbs. We use Zoro here, he has Kosher to remove the death up, so that the death up is removed next turn too. Uh, Como for the attack boost. 
and the chain lock with the Sanji as we said, so we, we avoid the decreased chain here. Nami, heal up the full for Koi Chip, and we also get uh, self proc death down conditional, and we get recovery orbs for the revive. So yeah, we barely kill with four hits, which means we have two recovery orbs left. So yeah, we just eat those recovery orbs and we'll easily be able to do uh, 1 million damage. But yeah, I'm so happy I got this done. I've been trying it for a while, but yeah, I realized after a while I'll want the uh, Sanji for this. So I think it was a good showcase. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.